Welcome to the Sky Podcast. Si Chris, ayaw talaga niya magtrabaho kami together. Like, even with this podcast, parang hesitant siya kasi natatakot siya na magalit. Ma- uh, mag-away kami. No, because I work so different from you. Like, Slater yeah. is very technical. He's very, like, numbers, mm-hmm. analytics, la-la-la. And la, la. Mm-hmm. I'm just kind of like, wing it. Like, I want to do it my way. I want to be <laughs> chill. I want life balance. Like, so, yeah, so, 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 iba. I'm about to ask them na, paano sila, how do you guys work together na hindi kayo nag Like, especially for songs and stuff that there's a lot of creativity that needs to happen. Um, I think when we first started working together, we came from very different backgrounds. So, um, we were newly boyfriend girlfriend. We had been friends for a long time, but we never really worked together. And then, um, when we were boyfriend girlfriend, and then he went um, full time with his music and started touring with me. Mm. Um, we had to learn how to set a lot of boundaries because we were so different. Um, I'm very strong and independent. I'm panganay. Jason's bunso. <laughs> um, and very passive, passive, aggressive. Passing. Passing, <laughs> passing aggressive. We are. <laughs> Rico. Um, but, but yeah, and then, and then we had a, not a rough start, but it was a very, um, it was a, a, we had a lot of growing pains when we first started working together. Um, but that also really s- strengthened our relationship, uh, our work relationship and our personal relationship because we knew how to work with each other. And then in the last two years, it's just been very smooth. He knows how to mm. talk to me. He knows how to bring things up to me. And I know how to... Um, bring things up with him. Parang and gets so, mo na yung style ng isa't isa. Yeah, and he also, he's, maybe you're not that passive anymore. Any. Pero, ano kayo dati, di ba? Best friends kayo. Nag-start kayo as best friends. I, I, tama, yeah. tama ba, di ba? Yeah. yeah. And, and how did that evolve? How did Jason cross the, cross the, ano, <laughs> friend zone. Yeah. What were your moves? <laughs> um, it happened December 4th. Wow, wow you exactly remember. 2016. Because that was the day that I proposed to one of my friends. He's a friend of mine. And then, we went to Starbucks kami all together after the proposal. And then, you were just friends pa rin ni Moy nun. And then, we can have tanambihan ko siya tapos you know when you're in a group of friends pero bigla kayo makakarya ng solo na mundo dahil ang ganda mm. ng usapan niyo ah. and then eh yung parang first time ko siya nakita in a different light na parang ah, cute pa din ang ganda pa mm. mm. so parang <laughs> isang instant lang talaga siya it's not a, something oh, progressive sobrang ano siya drawing of the curtain moment for me wow. siguro wow. um Sabi nga nung lola niya na parang it was a miracle kasi um, ano sabi ni lola? How did she word it? Ang ganda ng puto sa atin. Um, I don't remember word for word but she said it God protected me. It, this feels like a miracle because God only revealed to you who you were meant to be with. Now. Mali! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 parang, no, parang sabi niya, God protected you from each other uh, while being together. God protected you right from time. each other while being together right until time. it was the right time. Until, uh, oh, wow. that's so beautiful. That's actually very true. So oh ganda. Gosh. And it's a blessing also na you started off as friends talaga. May parang yeah. mas nakilala mo. The foundation is solid. Super yeah. solid, no? Uh-oh. And I... I also was his wingman. He would ask me to um, proof, proofread the messages that he'd sent to the girls that oh. he used to like. Oh, <laughs> so, alam mo na moves niya. Yeah, you knew beforehand. So, ikaw din, Moy, you, you, you felt the same way right away? Or paano? I didn't. At first, it was, ano, 
Um, it was very cringy for me, but it wasn't the cringe that ayoko. Like, what's this feeling? Like, is this? Can this be? Or should I? <laughs> should I entertain should I, this? Should I go for it? But. Even when he laid down his intentions and he was clear about everything already, it was still very um, cringy. Mm. We were we were both cringing and laughing <laughs> at the same time. Oh, oh no, because yeah. you're so used to hanging out with each other in a friendly way. That was big lang. Uy, parang kinikilitina. <laughs> yeah. Even how he said it, eh, but jologs kami nito. So, he, he would, he, when he said it, oh boy, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Ang cute mo pala, bro. Alam mo, pag nagtitext kami nun, yung ibabato mo na lang yung cellphone mo kapag magre-reply ka ng sweet, hindi pang, Tama na. Tama na. sa point na. Ay, ito yung mga movies mo dati sa sa mga girls mo, Jason. Ginawa mo na sa akin. <laughs> that's how that's how um I confirmed because I used to proofread his messages and he used to send me screenshots of you know his moves with those other girls. And then when he said jogging tayo, that I remember oh. that. It's like take a take a jogging teka. tayo. Alam ko to, sabi ko, <laughs> Oh, okay, yung moves na. <laughs> Ngayon na kayo na, ano na, biking tayo. Kain. Kain. <laughs> Kain tayo. Kain na. <laughs> Pero di ba nagbabike na si Moy ngayon? Malapit na. Malapit na. Akala ko nag-shopping kayo for bikes for Moira. Walang ano eh, walang stock ng size. I'm too small. XXS. <laughs> I need a special bike. <laughs> Pero dati si Jason, Jason told me na nag, nag motor siya and ngayon hindi na. Uh, approve ka ba kay Jason na nag motor Kasi si Chris, no. ayaw niya sa ayaw niya. I was It's so cute. mad at Kuya Sam for getting Jason into biking. <laughs> Ay, oo nga. Uh-oh. And then for a time oh, later, club. for a time, imagine Kuya Sam would go here or we'd go to Kuya Sam's and then... I don't get to talk to Kuya Sam anymore. It's just them talking about bikes. Oh. And it just... I was so mad. And then, eventually, Jason got his own bike. And then, Which that happened. Bought? Which I bought because... You're a supportive girlfriend. You eh. just have to support. <laughs> It's all out of love. My gosh. <laughs> so And I saw how safe bandai. he was. Yeah. Yes, Oo, si Sam, dinala din uh, nag-demo din siya ng Ducati, Ducati niya uh, sa, sa harap ko. And it can be very persuasive. I think there, for a time you considered it love. No? I, I actually did. Parang sabi, sabi ni Sam na, oh, may special discount tayo with Ducati. This is like supposed to be 700,000, naging 500,000 na lang. Bili ka na, mas mahal pa yung mga Rolex na mga relo, mga ganyan. Yeah, and I was like, eh, eh? No. no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Salesman. <laughs> Moy, yung mga so songs fun. mo, sobrang beautiful. Like, I was watching the, uh, we were watching the Paubaya. Sobrang painful. Saan yun ang galing? Like, you seem like a very positive person. The both of you, actually. Sobrang gaan to be with. But, Pero parang ang lalim ng understanding niyo sa mga emotions. ganun na bagay na parang napaisip kami, did she go through something like that? Na parang she understands it so well, no? Aww. Aww. Um, well, Paubaya was mostly written by Jason. By J- oh, si Jason pala yung mas what, ano pa. <laughs> what I do, what I did with Paubaya was I added words and I kind of um, stitched it together to create like a story mm. um, but majority of the words were Jason's and the melody was mine Ang ganda. Um, so that's how Bobaya came to be and with experiences I think um, our past experiences like the things that we went through before we found each other. Mm. I come from a broken family, and wow. then um, I had relationship struggles um, before, and 
even with career wise like there's a long that like years of waiting and years of waiting for my career waiting for my family to be whole again waiting for healing mm. um the, going through anxiety and depression and wow. um all of these things that i feel like translates easily into my songs um mm. because that's i feel like what i have unconsciously been doing is i've been you know trying to make my songs be the friend to people that i never had mm -hmm. when i was going through those things and um i'm just so happy that even in the days that i couldn't put to words what i want to say i would just open them up them up to jason and then i'm so happy that i married such a great songwriter um because he would put to words what i want to say uh... and then slowly he would pull me out of the rut that I'm in and we finish the song. Oh, that's so cute. Sobrang ganda. Sobrang ganda. And props to you, Jason, because the way you write is like, you know how, for example, if a ako yung friend mm -hmm. and ikaw yung nag nag hurting. Okay. I couldn't, parang, I can't express it the way Jason expresses it. Uh -oh. Na parang, ma-feel mo talaga yung moment. Parang, you know what I mean? Yung parang like it's ginaganyan yung puso mo. <laughs> I mean, you feel it on a different level. Yeah. And you as a friend, parang you're so limited with words, but the way you put words together and the melody and parang it's just so I don't know, it really tells Resonates. a story and parang it makes you feel things. Na, ano mo yun? <laughs> oh, like I was commenting kanina like sa behind the scenes video niyo. Uh Mo Moira was saying na si See, si Jason came up with the chord and then you sang a part of it. The tapos biglang umiyak si Jason. Yun ba yun? <laughs> so yeah, what, the, wait, oh, what that does that mean? Be, like, uh -oh. what does that mean? Like, well, like How, what's a chord? Like, like yung mga yung tones, yung parang like, combinations like, of the notes. Like, hey, G. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or G. <laughs> I really don't know. How does that um, work? I'm so curious. Like a, a chord progression is um, <laughs> G and B minor, C and D. Like it's a group of chords. Yeah, okay. to make a melody. Wait, Wait, I don't know. Para mas maintindihan nila. Hindi mo sinabi sa akin. Alam mo pala. <laughs> wow, there's a guitar. Pero, pero how could chords make you cry? No, it's it's her melody. So yung chords, yung chord, Yun yung parang canvas. Okay. And then yung melody niya on top of the chords. Yun yung painting. Wow. Grabe, pati nag-explain ka lang ng gano'n. Pati nag-explain, so right. So right. Grabe. Nagsimula kami na nung... Um, so, ang galing nga kasi parang binibigay lang talaga ni God at the right time sa amin. Mm. Yung melody and yung words. Kaya hindi namin talaga matitake yung credit na ah, magaling kami yung songwriter. Because there, there are thousands of times now we did try to write a song. Like, we were up to two hours, wala. three hours, four hours. So, wala, wala talaga. So, kaya talagang, like, hindi sa pagiging Christianese. Pero, like, we really believe na, na gusto ipagawa sa amin ni Lord to. Like, gusto mm. niya. Like, there's a message that He wants us to say. Yeah. Or, like, to just, you know, lift spirits up. Right. goosebumps ako ngayon, no? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, at the right time, biglang binigay sa akin ni Lord yung melody na. Oh. Tapos, pinahinig-pinahinig ko kay Moyon. Sabi ko, ang ganda, ang ganda, ang ganda. So, ginawa niya. Um, nilagay niya ng... ng... It's in pre-chord. You're crying! <laughs> okay, oh my gosh! 
Crying, I'm crying. ko na ako bakit. <laughs> bakit na na umiiyak si Jason? Oh my god. Wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. This oh, is a very beautiful. special moment yeah. because I've never seen Slater cry. No, I'm just teary eyed. Ito, hindi siya umiyak sa wedding namin. See you guys. Hindi namin makita yung camera Oh, you can see us. Bakit? Ano siya? It's There. There. Ayan. Ayan. Grabe. Like, I, this guy didn't cry at our wedding and he didn't cry when I gave birth to Scott. But now he cried. <laughs> <laughs> so, iba yung powers niya talaga. I, I no. feel like it was just leading up. It was just the lang. <laughs> Gawa tayo ng 10-year anniversary. Da- tapos, dapat si Jason at si Boy. Ang, oh my ano. God. Kung hindi ka iiyak mo na. <laughs> We'd love to. Goal na natin sa 10 years. Sige, 10 Chris, years. Kaya maiyak siya. Ay, ano, naka. trade tayo. Ako tagapag-inspect sa bahay niyo. Tapos, kanta kayo sa 10-year anniversary. <laughs> Gee! <laughs> <laughs> Bukas na agad. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe. Are you planning Grabe. to build a home or just buy a home? We want to build. build. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Sobrang so makukuha so niyo yung, yung gusto niyo. Yeah, yeah, customize everything. Are, are you guys planning to have a family soon? Uh, you shouldn't ask people that loud. <laughs> Sige, wag muna. Okay yeah. na natin. No, we're, we're okay. We're okay. Um, we're okay if it comes. Because yeah, I, I have ano, polycystic ovary. Na so it's mm-hmm. not, it's it's a little harder for us to, to have a baby. But um, I still fall under the category where we can plan it. Mm-hmm. Um, and we... Our plan is next year or in two years. <gasps> we're still young. Oh my gosh. But, but if it happens now, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that's so exciting. Yeah. Pareho tayo. We were like, if it comes, it comes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so life-changing. I'm so excited for you guys. Grabe, Thank sobrang you. iba yung happiness na... <laughs> life-changing. Yeah. It's something different din talaga. I can see. And Scotty Boo... Gives more, gives so much joy even to all of us. He's so cute. <laughs> My little egg baby. My dumpling boy. Sig-sig pa parang dami-dami niyang folds. <laughs> oh, yo. Parang mission yun. And he's so happy when he eats. <laughs> yeah, it's a Scotty mukbang every day. I was telling us later kanina, my gosh, we have to get new shoes na naman for Scotty kasi yung sandals niya parang nagmamark na sa paa niya kasi it's so tight. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, yung mga yeah. sizes so niya. So chunky. He's nine months, pero yung mga sizes na sinusuot niya, one, one... Eighteen months na. One and a half oh years niya. Oh my gosh. He's so giant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh no. It's so cute. Giant baby. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, sinong, sinong may idea sa, to, to create the music video? Kasi sobrang ganda ng music video, ha? Like, the, the, The words that they were saying was very genuine. Um, What do you mean? The Julia and yung, Josh? Yeah, yeah, pa Ah, yeah. 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 Eh, sobrang galing nila umarte. Was that, Kapi, that was acting or that was IRL? <laughs> was that scripted? Or parang... We had a script. A script. Um, we, the, it was not um, strict to the script. Mm-hmm. But there was a, li- there was a layout. There was a message that we wanted to convey. Mm. Um, um, so yeah, it's. Yeah. Pero kasi gusto rin namin ma take advantage yung galing nila umarte. Yeah. So we gave them the freedom. They're so raw. When we galing were nila. when we were ideating about the the music video, the the scene that we were imagining. I don't know if you've watched Love Me to the Stars and Back, but um, it's their movie. You should watch it. Um, it was a uh, sorry sorry. It was um there was a scene on the bridge and um I don't want to spoil it for you but they <laughs> they had this specific scene on the bridge and they were just so raw acting and so great yeah and we just we wanted that in the music video and when we imagined that scene we just couldn't think of anyone else who could do it like that. But Josh and Julia, so um, we took the risk. We asked them, and then they didn't even think about it. They just said yes. Oh, that's so nice. So I, I, actually, we thought it wasn't scripted, no? Uh-oh. Because ang galing, ang galing nga. Parang 
it's so true to life. Like how can how can that be fake? <laughs> oh, diba? I, was, I was saying to Chris, abaka ano to na parang you just just stand there, kung dalawa lang, and then you try to make a scene. Tapos wala <laughs> script. Ay yung nasa yeah. isip ko because I don't. I've like there's good actors and there's just sa kanila may X factor sila eh, na parang yeah. you've there's a, a yes. lot of people that can cry, a lot of people that can uh, show good emotion, but sa kanila parang you're stuck to the screen talaga. I think, I think it's their chemistry together, no? They have yeah. so much chemistry. Yeah. The chemistry that they have. So nandun kayo yeah. di ba on the day that it was shot? Were you crying behind the scenes? Oh yes. <laughs> no, Crying really. Even so if you much. knew it was coming, well, we the four of us worked on the script together. Oh, um, so so uh, there were a few that were scripted. There were a few that were not. So oh, we'll just leave it to your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they really just embodied the message of forgiveness and letting go and letting God that we wanted to say through the song. Mm. And everything just flowed from there. Um, they're just really brilliant actors. Mm. Um, yeah. So good. I'm so happy with all your success, the both of you. Like I was telling Chris before I met, uh, I knew Jason, I knew about Moira. Na uh, I was talking to Kuya Erickson, our manager. So you're mm-hmm. still with Kuya Erickson, no? So um, I was saying. There's this girl who sobrang galing kumanta, but you you might not know her name, but you've heard her songs for sure. Mm, I remember you telling me this. Yeah, for, from the mm. the 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 mga commercials that you did, or so, the theme song of the move, the shows, right? Something like that, right? You said. Yes, and sobrang. How does it feel like to start from uh, fairly? So sabi na natin from scratch to like doing. To the success that you have now. It's so ganda ng journey nyo. Um, I'm 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 super grateful. I don't, I still don't know. Like looking back, um, sometimes I have to keep myself from, from, um, reminiscing too much because it gets me so emotional. Oh. But it just. I still don't know how I got from where I was to where I am now. But I know that I know that I couldn't have um, I couldn't have gone I couldn't have reached this point if if I didn't have such an amazing team mm. behind me. I had like you said, like Tito Erickson. I had such a great manager. I had um, my management, and then. Now I have Jason. Yee. Jason, um, <laughs> Jason came into my life first before my big breaks, so uh, it it they he really came at such a perfect time also. And um, now, like our generation today, we have a really hard time with waiting, with being patient, with mm. embracing the process and the journey because we all want. To get to where we want to be. Just not an instant. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We want an instant fix for everything. We want. We want to see the breakthrough already without go getting Putting through the, work, yeah. the night first. You right. know. So, um, before the sunrise, you just you need to see the night fall first, and that's kind of what all those years combined felt for me. And there were so many times that I wondered why it wasn't happening for me. Like, crazy, I don't know if you know this, but Slater and I were in a Cornerstone photo shoot together. Oh, and then uh, we were, that's where I met you. And yeah, then, yeah, um, um, and then I was, I was, um, I was just in a place where everything there was there were there was something happening for everyone at that time Slater like mm. so many of us like sila um yung mga kaedad ko we were all auditioning for everything but they would get everything but I wouldn't um mm. I wouldn't get in and there was just so much rejection and I've always wondered why it wasn't happening for me um but then I 
now I get to appreciate the waiting and the process because it was during those waiting that I learned how to empathize. I learned compassion. I learned kindness. I learned the value in waiting. I, um, it was during waiting that I wrote Malaya and Tagutaguan. I don't wow. think that would have happened if everything went my way. True. If, you know, it, it, it's just, it's so nice to, you know, just be in a place where you get this acknowledgement, not because you're good, but because you were able to touch people's lives. And before, I didn't really have a goal. I didn't know what my purpose was, why I was writing, why I wanted to sing. But now I am, I definitely know that I want to be a friend through my music. And mm. it came at the time when I got to embody that and I understood that. Um, so it's beautiful things really happen when you wait and when you trust God. And um, I have nothing but gratitude in my heart. Mm. I have a question because parang you guys are so god fearing and like super religious no. Mm. We were we were talking about it earlier. Yeah. Can you ask the question for me? <laughs> I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were talking about uh how how it inspires you to to have to to always have uh him behind you. Like what does it how does it push you forward? How does it uh, inspire you and motivate you? And kagaya ng sinabi ni Jason na meron talagang may moments na he's, you feel like he's talking to you or like through the songs that you write. Siguro, it started with uh, great foundations. Like, pinalaki kami ng um, parents namin um, God fearing talaga. And then, na mentor kami ng maayos sa church namin. Mm. Um, actually, we were both, ano, nagsimula kami pareho sa worship team. Mm. So, I would lead worship sa Victory Fort Bonifacio. And then, siya mag lead ng worship sa Victory Makati. Makati. Yeah. So, halos same background kami growing up. Um, and I feel like that was our foundation, just having that heart of worship and yeah. you know leading people to worship and when 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 we listen to worship songs like I don't know if you've listened to her songs Oceans or Captain or What a Beautiful Name it's there's something about it that makes you heal mm. or makes you feel in the moment what you have been avoiding mm. or what you've been hiding under the rug and then you just it's like it's like it's like transferring the burden onto god yeah. and mm. leaving it up to him and um i feel like our our background like this really helps us with our music now in terms of we want our music to be kind of like worship songs hmm. where people can transfer on their pain to yes you know i was just about to say that ang music nyo uh ako dumaan ako sa mga heartbreak moments din dati like you always <laughs> parang the, the type of music that you guys create para siyang it helps you heal it helps you sabi, sabi mo diba para siyang it's like having a friend it really is because Sometimes when you feel the pain and you hear someone sing about it or uh, when you hear a song that relates to you a lot, parang, oh, I'm not alone. Right. I'm not the yeah. only person who feels this. Parang na put into words yung, yeah, parang you feel vindicated, you feel validated, no? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like yung hindi mo masabi or hindi mo ma-explain sa iba. Tapos when you listen to the song, parang, yes, yun, tama yun. Ito talaga, this is my song. <laughs> Diba, ganun? Yeah. Alam mo yun, like when you're feeling heartbroken or may pinagdaanan ka, lahat ng songs that you listen to, relate na relate, relate ka. <laughs> diba, ganun yun? Yeah. 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 Grabe. Actually, ganun, kaya doon natin nakita na super powerful talaga ng music. Yeah. Um, there's, there's this story sa, sa kwento ko lang, there's this story sa Bible na super favorite ko. Hmm. Na parang si King Saul, parang, it, parang he was being oppressed emotionally and physically by 
by um, uh, an evil spirit. Tapos biglang si King David kumuha siya ng lyre. And then tinugtugan niya lang si si King Saul. As in, walang lyrics, wala ano. Sabi din tinugtugan niya lang. And then the spirit left. The mm. evil spirit left. So as kid talaga siya powerful na it yeah, brings healing. Yeah. It brings like, sobrang lakas. Yeah. Tapos samahan mo pa ng lyrics. Grabe. Mm. Yeah. Alam mo, when I was younger, I didn't want to be an engineer. I wanted to be a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi sabi ko, <laughs> Not too late. No, no, no. You no, are, because... you are. Yes. You are. Idol mo para si Moira eh. <laughs> yeah, kasi, kasi, wala lang, hindi lang ako binigyan ng talent ni God. <laughs> sa pagkanta. <laughs> no, pero, um, alam mo yung, whenever I watch a concert, nakikita ko yung tao on stage. And then, parang everybody is singing his or her song. And then my rhythm, na when pag sinasabi pa, oh, you wave your hands, tap sabay sabay. Ano kaya yung feeling na ganyan? Like I've been on stage, pero iba din yung level that these are the songs that you have created. These yeah. are the melodies that everyone, thousands of people is are singing. Right. What does and then it when you say like? like put your hands up or light your phones, tapos everyone parang biglang oh, light. So like, oh my uh, god! I had really? that feeling when I was watching uh, your Cebu concert, my my. Aww, yeah. How does it feel like? Like parang. <laughs> He's like, how does it feel like? That's always <laughs> been my dream. <laughs> is it? So from, wow, it's so magical. Like everybody is like on the same page. Parang at peace yung world for that right. moment. Right. Parang the energy is so pure. Yeah. No? We miss that. We miss, I miss oh, that yeah, wala the wala. most right now. Um, it it feels surreal for me. Um, especially the, the, the songs that we did get to sing before. They were mostly just my songs. And um, like let's like for example Malaya and Tagutago and the first time that I heard them like the audience sing it live I couldn't help but cry so I yakin ko no first few first few years ko every time I'm on stage I'm just crying all the time <laughs> to the Aww, point that I can't so umiyak na naman si Moira <laughs> kasi, <laughs> kasi, um, kasi it was just I I couldn't believe it that right. in that those songs that were written in the season that nothing is happening i was just waiting and wondering if you know if if it will ever happen to me i, I wrote malaya i was um at a season where i was suicidal what I, I, well, I didn't was, know that about the, you i've gone to therapy and um i haven't been suicidal for the last uh six years um what? So I'm. That's why I've, I, I'm a very. Um, I I I I love talking about mental health because it it creates this awareness that it's okay to not be okay. It's okay yeah. to open up and ask for help because yeah. a lot of people need that. Um, but so yeah, Malaya was written in that season, and I actually recorded it while I was in the states, and my family's in the states, and at that time. I didn't want to go back anymore. I wasn't mm. gonna go back anymore. I just, I said to myself that this is around 2015, 2016. And I said to myself, like, I think I've done, I, I think I've fought a good fight with this career. I think it was good. At that time, I've, I had already been there. I had already been in Cornerstone for seven years. Whoa, wow. the God. Seven years. Mm. And um, I, I was ready to call it quits. And then I went to the States. And then I felt I didn't have peace. I just felt like God was telling me to go back. Even though I had no projects, nothing at all. Um, and so I, I went back. And then months later, um, I got a boyfriend. <laughs> and then... Months later, months after that, I, um, I was, I I got to sing my first theme song for Malaya for 
Camp Sui, and then for Love oh, You to the yeah. Stars in Back, which was yeah. Torete. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's when everything, everything happened. Started, so, yeah. so Camp Sui was like your breaking... Anyan? <coughs> that's where people really knew who Moira was. <laughs> Moira is. Mm-hmm. Yung, yung Camp Sui was sila Sam. 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 We Sam. watched it together. Yeah, yeah we yeah. watched it together. Yeah. Sobrang ganda. Sobrang ganda. It, like, <laughs> sobrang ganda ng melody. Uh, sobrang bagay sa movie. Thank you. Mabalik tayo sa, ano, sa mental health. How is it, um, like, I, I think you, we, we want to talk about it here also so that more people can realize what it, uh, if they may be feeling something. Yeah. Because uh, ako very much uh, unaware ako sa mga ganito. Like, what, what is it like? Like, what uh, were you going through and yeah, why, if that's okay. yeah. why depression and why suicide? And how does, does having someone like Jason uh, help? Um, well, for me, when I started going to therapy, they explained that um, there's, uh, my, my parents were separated when I was three years old. And ever and then I had to adjust to a new family because my stepdad adopted me, mm. um, and then I was bullied, and then it was just like an accumulation of like stuff, mm. like, and feeling like I wasn't good enough, bl- putting the blame on myself, the the separation of my parents, the rejection, all the waiting. It was just accumulated, and right. um. The way my psychiatrist um, explained it was that, you know, these were normal things that people go through. But because I lost the the security and the stability that a child should have gotten when I was a baby, because my parents separated, mm. because I lost that, it I wasn't it wasn't easy for me to process certain things. Right. It wasn't that easy for me to digest mm. um, whatever was happening in my life and. Um, we had a lot of family issues, and I had um, I had polycystic ovaries at a young age. So um, that affects polycystic ovaries affect depression, anxiety, right. brain fog, um, a lot of things. So it I couldn't understand at the time what was wrong with me. Why couldn't I focus? Why couldn't I finish something? Why am I feeling too much? Why can't I be enough? And all these questions just bombarding my head. And it just came to a point where at the time that I became suicidal, it just, I just wanted the thoughts to stop. Mm. And I just wanted, because I was so tired. I couldn't process well. It didn't seem like it was going to end. And my mind was just so noisy that I just wanted to shut it up and I didn't know how. Um, and I know that a lot of other people have gone through so many other things, but I also know that from the people that I've talked to and the people who have shared their stories with me, it's some, it's some a lot of the stories are the same. It's just mm. the common denominator is wanting everything to just stop. Uh-huh. Um, um, and that's why you need people to process it with that's Mm. why it's okay to have help um um, and be surrounded by people and no boundaries um there was a time that i just started listening to worship music Mm. and then just started writing in that season it was that season that i wrote my biggest hits um because i couldn't find any other outlet yeah, and true. then Jason came into my life and he he was like years later, like he didn't know anything happening to mm. him. It was sakit ng mayaman, he didn't <laughs> art <alam. laughs> Right. And then, sorry. And then um, I slowly showed him that world that I used to be in and he slowly understood and then he would we would have like um, practical things, like he would walk with me, mm. he would hike with me, get me ser- get me some serotonin. Oh, um, that's so nice. Serotonin. 
Happy dopamine. Uh, dopamine. 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 And then he would make sure I drink water. Oh, make sure so that sweet. We have worship time. Make sure that I constantly meet with my with my um, neuroscientist. Um, little things. And when he sees that I'm having an episode that could lead to that, it it doesn't. Um, it doesn't even lead to that anymore. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> una ano pa eh. <laughs> <laughs> in denial pa ako na, na may depression siya. Mm. Like, kasi diba sa atin, para pinalaki tayo ng day, mind over matter. Yeah. Oh, then, ano lang yan. Pero, iba pala talaga yung, iba when you see it first hand eh. And iba Have you seen it first hand? When, when she was having like, Oh yeah. Episode not a or... not a suicidal episode, but just like an episode. Yeah. As in, ano siya? Um, it's 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 different when you you know experience and you see it firsthand. Yeah. Na bigla mo may kita na okay. Um, ani sabi mo sa akin before na parang pinarilyalize na sa akin na yung depression is is like it's like cancer. Mm. para sa physical ailment talaga mm. na hindi ka pwede mo pwede pagalitan yung tao na may cancer na bakit ang hila-hila mo bakit, mm. bakit oh. hindi ka makatayo mag-isa ganun but it's tricky kasi yung sa depression it manifests itself in a way na akala mo masama lang ugali kasi bigla siya magiging snappy mm. kasi big, magagalit siya sa mga sa boost sa pinakamaliit na bagay like, iwan ko yung tubig ko dyan. Bakit hindi ka nag-coaster? Tapos mm. parang, oh, teka, saan nagagaling to? Mm. So sometimes, para siyang sniper. Hindi mo alam saan nagagaling. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, it that will... That hasn't happened in a while. In a while. Actually, yeah. okay. this... Nung first year namin, dun yung talagang rough. Pero like... Because that was our busiest also. And oh, yeah. We weren't able to process anything. Yeah. From our wedding, honeymoon, boom, trabaho. Tour, yeah. gig. So yeah. ngayon lang kami nung lockdown, doon kami nakahinga. Nasta kami sa, sa Las Vegas, sa bahay ng dad niya. So mm. doon lang kami talaga na-enjoy as husband and wife. No? Ay, sayang pala na kung ganito. Aww, <laughs> yeah. that's so nice. I saw nga your post na yeah. parang nasa likod kayo ng pick-up. Yeah. Nag-date kayo. <laughs> Ang sweet, di ba? Super sweet. Uh-oh. I'm so blessed with, with Jason because he really just... He really is so patient and kind and compassionate and he takes his time with me. He, um, There were many times where I felt frustrated with him because um, he couldn't understand. But then you can't get mad at someone who is slowly being introduced to a whole different thing. Mm. Right. Um, so we both learned a huge deal of of compassion towards each other, me having depression and him not knowing anything about it. Um, but we slowly realized that with people with who struggle with mental health, you can't tell a person who is wounded that he isn't wounded, that mm. it's not a real wound. Right. No. Like you have to acknowledge that, okay, where are you wounded? How are you wounded? And then that's the only time that that person can actually heal. That's so true. Um, and um, that's what we we both learned in our first year. And our pastors also taught us a little trick that when I'm um, when I'm reacting at a nine, but the issue is at a two, then he knows that it could be an episode. So mm. he will ask me, okay. You're reacting at the nine. What can I do to help you? And then if I'm opening up to him, he will say, okay, babe, do you need me to listen? Or do you need me to give you a solution? Mm. And so I'll ask him to just listen because I mm. would know the solution. Right. Um, so I think that's, that's how we can address, like a lot of people, you know, do go through mental issues, but a lot of their loved ones don't really know what to do. Right. Um, so, like, the practical 
practical things that you can do or yun nga yun, mga ganun and you can also um you can and it's very important also that if a loved one if, if someone you love is going through something like this that you make it the point to make them feel loved and not something to fix mm. right like mm. Because they already feel that they already feel that they're not good enough, that they're broke, they're too broken to even function. That, that there's so much noise in their heads. So instead of making them feel that there's that they that they're another Problem. item that you have to fix, that you're that that they're another burden on your shoulder, you can see them as you can make sure that they feel that they are loved and that you're just next to them. That's my greatest temptation as a guy, yung not to give a solution. Kasi di ba, pag lalaki ka, yung parang, ayusin na natin yan. Di ba, if your wife comes to you with a problem, parang, utak ko kagad, na na solution. Yeah. Ganyan yan, kasi ganyan yan. Ah, yeah, kasi ganyan. It's so hard. And I still have my weak moments na minsan, <laughs> I was just about Kailang? to say, yeah. sobrang laki ng hanga ko sa'yo, bro. Kasi, imagine if um, nagalit siya bigla sa'yo, tapos, ha, ang liit-liit ng ginawa ko. Like, you have to be able to yeah. be aware that that is happening on the spot. Na parang, whoops, yeah. break muna. Instead of me trying to react agad or give a solution, makinig muna yeah. ako. It's, some, it's not easy. I think that's really a guy thing also, to always offer a solution. Parang, Every time I'm feeling bad, every time I'm feeling sad, parang, why? Eh, kasi you did this. Dapat ganito, <laughs> dapat ganyan. Mm. Instead of just parang, oh, really? Why? Oh, it's okay. Come here. Diba? Sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes you just need a hug. Yeah. yeah. Remember uh, when I was pregnant and I was dealing with like super crazy hormones? Mm. I just cry <laughs> on the, sp- like, I don't know why I'm crying. Why are you outside? <laughs> ah? Ganon. Diba, love? <laughs> Slater was, yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> you just need to feel loved. Mm-hmm. I get that. I get that. Take it. Next time, you if you come at me with a problem, like for example, love, nagli-leak yung sink, sasabihin ko, do you want to express yourself, love? Or do you want to fix? <laughs> Mabaho yung drain, love. Please fix it. <laughs> Did you guys always know that you were going to be in the music career from the very start pa lang ng buhay niyo? Like... Um, Jason wanted to be a worship pastor. Mm. Whoa! Yeah. Um, I, I think do. that's still I think that's still his biggest um, dream. With me, I I think I've always known that it's gonna inc- that it's gonna have something to do with words. Um, I never felt good enough as a singer. So what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if Wait. if I I dreamed of that before, like or if I knew I was gonna do this for the long run. But I definitely knew that I was gonna be in a career that included words. And mm. I ask me, this because I feel like. <laughs> Like, I don't want to say words. Because writing is a dream. I listen to it. I miss. I remember your concert here in Cebu. And one the the best moment for me was when you had your sisters on stage. Sobrang cute nila. And sobrang galing nila kumanta. And, it runs in the family. And Moira, Moira was there <laughs> sa side nila encouraging them. Like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. cute. Like, Chris, was it? You I were pregnant there. that time. Yes, so I was pregnant. So you weren't pregnant. able to yeah. go. Yeah. Mm. So cute. Like, uh, that was my favorite moment. The moment that I saw that my sisters could sing, I, I got so excited. Because I'm the eldest. Mm. So I have five siblings. And... All of them can sing except for one. Ang kawawa naman ng isa. Binukin mo na ito. Wala siyang talent. Ate. Mikey can sing. Ate So, yung isa, sino yung isa? The one next to me. But she's very smart. 
Super uh, smart. She, Valedictorian. she never graduated, <laughs> not a valedictorian. Wow. She always graduated like that. Wow. So wow. at least she has that. She's gonna be the rich one. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna manage all of your finances. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it has been so so beautiful to talk to you to sh- for you to share your journey. Sobrang thankful kami. Sobrang ganda ng stories niyo. Mm-hmm. Sobrang mm-hmm. inspiring to to hear that it's not as easy as people it looks. yeah, like parang akala ng mga tao like it's just one viral thing and then okay ka na. na, na there's really hard work and effort put into it and like uh, the inspiration that you get from God, sobrang I think it will really inspire a lot of people, and you have certainly inspired me and siguro si Chris na rin. Yes, you, you guys are <laughs> super moving. Parang how you say that everything was at the right moment, mm. at how what your Lola said na God gave you to each other at the perfect time. Parang it's so special, and I feel like a lot of people nowadays need to hear that. So thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us and for listening. Of course. It's and really when are you going to come visit us and baby Scotty? <laughs> I know. We can't Hopefully wait. soon. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Hopefully yeah. soon. Hopefully, pwede na tayong mag, ah, hindi tayo, kayo mag-concert ulit. <laughs> and I really want to see baby clap. Scotty in his Michelin mode. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I will him stuff him stage. with food until you guys come visit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thank you guys. Love you guys. Thanks, guys. Good night.